Hi everyone, I found my scribe pin, so I will do my tutorial today. I just wanted to show you first this cute chunky charm I made. Isn't that pretty? All these beads came on a strand. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I just thought they were so pretty that I decided to make one of these. Now, on my craft, at my craft fair, not one of these sold. I have so many now. I haven't sold any yet, but I'm still making a few. I really enjoy making them, so I'll just, you know, make them a little at a time. And maybe next year I'll have some luck, and maybe not. Um, I should put some more in my shop, too. But I thought I'd show you because I thought it was really pretty. Now, these are the scribe pins uh, it's a, that, I'm, that I was talking about. It's a steel scribe pin from the jewelry shop. And they come like this. All right, now wait for the sale because they go on sale about twice a month. Um, they're regular $2.99, so they will go, um, you know, half off. That's when I pick them up. Now, I don't know if I'm going to continue making these because I have a bunch, and I don't know what the point is to keep making them. I don't know. I'll keep a couple for myself, give some away. I don't know if I should try selling them. I don't know if people would want them. You know, but <clears throat> let's make one. Now, <clears throat> these were half off today. B Design Company. Okay, so they were ten ninety nine. so I got them half off. I got these because I don't have any of these colors. All right, I wanted to show you. That's what I picked up. And I also picked up these crazy things. <clears throat> I wasn't that crazy about them. They're very different, but I'm also making bead pens, as you've seen in a, a previous video, and I might put these on a pen. So isn't that crazy? <laughs> Look at this one. So, I just wanted to show you that. All right, so now we have to, <clears throat> we have to make this one, and I was thinking of doing it with these beads, because I don't have any in red yet. Right? So, I was thinking of doing it with this. So, this is the jewelry and bead glue that I talked about. And then I'll show you how I do that. Let me just quickly get a scissor over here. <clears throat> okay, these are, these are fabric scissors, so don't do what I do. But... Take these off. All right, so first, first we're gonna see how we like this. I'm gonna put some on here and see how it goes. If I don't like it, I will, all right, that doesn't fit. Some of them aren't gonna fit, you'll see that. I'm gonna put some on here, we'll see how we like it before we commit to gluing. <clears throat> I have that so far. <clears throat> a little too much because down here I don't have enough so let me take some of these off I don't know why there's this shadow casting <clears throat> It's not bad, but I still think I gotta change this. Let's see. I'm not even gonna use this one because there's no way we're gonna, that's gonna, well, 
I guess it could stand a little bit, but you might see the glue, so I'm not going to use that one. And look at, um, I also have these. Oh my god. <clears throat> I wanted to use these, but I didn't. Look at these pretty silver ones. But there was all holes in it, so I was like, oh, I didn't use that on one of them either, because I didn't know if it was going to work. All right, let's see. Maybe we have to just take this one off and settle for a smaller one here. Maybe we have to do this. It is freezing in here. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me see. Yeah, that's okay. I like that. Do you like that? I like it. I'm going to stick with that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this little plastic thing that it came with, all right, and I'm going to just put it down here, all right, like this, and I'm going to drop all the beads down, and then I'm going to do the glue a little at a time now. <clears throat> the glue comes with little adapter things, little, you know, applicator things, and I can't stand it, so I just, um, <clears throat> I just put a little bit of glue down and I pick it up with, let me get this out of the way, I pick it up with a, um, this is what I do, I don't care, I pick it up with a paper clip like this. That way I can just throw the paper clip away, I don't have to worry about getting glue all over, you know, one of my tools. All right, <clears throat> so this is how I do it. Everyone finds their own way of doing things, too. You do whatever is easier for you. Now, I'm trying to open up this glue. And I can't do it. I will be right back because I can't open this and... Why should you sit there waiting until I open it? So hold on one second. Okay, I got it open. So I just put a blob down. I don't care if I waste it. It is what it is. All right. So then I just get a little bit on here. Now it's E6000, so if you want to, if you feel more comfortable wearing gloves to apply it, you can. Um, I just wash my hands really well after. It doesn't really bother me. And I just do this. So I put that on, and then I put a little bit over here. And then I slide that one on, and, <clears throat> and I do it all until... I have them all glued. Put a little bit more, slide it up. Slide it up. And got the last one here, that's pretty big. So make sure we go down with this one. So they all slide up, and then I take the little thing, plastic thing here, I push it all the way up until it can't go anymore. So everything's nice and tight, and everything is going to dry. <clears throat> and then, um, so what I'll do is, um, I'll let it dry. I'll just sit sit it for a day or two. And then, um, when that's all set, then I'll, I'll dangle a charm off it. So that's my tutorial on these um, little scribe pins, these pokey tools. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try it and have some fun. Let me know if you think I should post some of these on my shop to see if they sell. I really don't know if anyone would be interested in them, if it's something people would actually like, or you know, I don't, maybe I can try a couple, see how it goes. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to show you quick. Um, my next video is going to be that Michael's haul, so I can show you all the goodies I bought. And that's it. So I'm freezing. I'm going to leave now and get warmed. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting. Bye.